Hi, this is Julie Thompson. I'm here reporting from IAB's Digital Video Marketplace. I'm here with Michael Clark, who's co-founder and principal of BB, Clark & Myler, as well as Moritz Lowe, who's chief agency officer and GM of sales for NBC News Digital. Hi, you guys. How are you today? Thanks for having us. Thank you. So you two just left the stage, and to enormous applause um, for your for your case study on the subject of co-viewing. Tell us what that is and why why it was received so well. Sure. Uh, well, co-viewing is typically defined now as TV content on broadcast being accompanied by a second screen, either a tablet or a phone, and enabling audiences to interact with the broadcast in a more meaningful way. And we talked a little bit about how technology is evolving, uh, not only audience behavior around co-viewing, but also uh, what the opportunities are uh, moving forward. I see, so multitasking extraordinaire. And you're trying to encourage this, I see. Moritz. Yes, uh, more multitasking means more ads, which means more money. Uh, no, but I mean, it, very honestly, it means more engagement, and that's what marketers need. And we've got a, you know, we've got a world of ADD and multitasking out there, and there's techniques that can make it seem more seamless from a marketing perspective, and more seamless from a consumer perspective. And as a publisher, we're trying to do both. Yeah. What are the challenges to companies trying to navigate in when they know the consumer has their eyes and two or three different places? Well, I think we have a tendency to declare the end of history in technology evolution where we say, well, this is the current state of things and uh, we don't really pay attention enough sometimes about what's coming down the road and how we can leverage new technology to uh, help increase uh, engagement between consumers and brands. And uh, I, I think for us as an agency, uh, what we're trying to do is stay on top of those trends and ensure that uh, new technology is built in in a way that's additive to both the audience experience, but also makes the gives the brand more of a facilitative role, just increasing the overall value to both the, the brand and the consumer. Mm -hmm. So, um, tell us how how it would actually work with NBC News Digital. Like, would you be watching an episode of Seinfeld and have a ticker across? How does that work? Yes, that's one of the experiences we have with our breaking news app, where you can actually watch your favorite episode, Seinfeld. For me, it's Gossip Girl, or you're watching political content. You can have your own custom news ticker on there on the same screen. So that's why we're minimizing distractions, but giving people the consumer, not only consumers have choice, but hopefully less distractions. The other way is through a technology called ACR, which is audio content recognition, where it actually synchronizes the information. Because one of the ways, we, as, as a publisher, we need to actually eliminate some of the distractions. Here's an example. You're watching Rachel Maddow. She's talking passionately about the political heat map. A typical consumer would pull out their laptop or their iPad and fumble around and say, where's that, where that information? Uh, with ACR, you can actually have a listen button on your PC or your iPad that's listening to Rachel and says, oh, Rachel's talking about the political heat map. It brings it up automatically on the screen. So now the distraction of going to search and finding it, the, the application brings you the information that complements and extends that experience. Now it's better focus. Also, that piece is listening to the broadcast. It says, oh, you saw a 30-second spot from General Electric. Okay, now we're going to serve you an online interactive unit because you know you've seen the branding unit on television. So that's kind of a, a nirvana type of area that we're working on getting to. And we'll be launching in the next six months. And, and so ultimately, you'll want us on one device, but having multiple experiences on one device. Well, I think it's really up to the consumer. A lot of the opportunities today, uh, there's the preference of viewing the content on the big screen, the TV, uh, but interacting perhaps socially through uh, smaller screens and tablets. So uh, I think the goal is audience choice and consumer choice. And then from a brand perspective, how do you operate within that to make it additive? So I, I think uh, a lot of this technological innovation is uh, looking really or seeking to give audiences uh, the most choice in how they want to view the content. Mm -hmm. And and if there was one innovation, uh, one one new functionality, if you could snap your fingers and it was enabled today, what would that be? Mm, instant grilled cheese machine. That'd be really nice if I had one of those. So I think it's more bandwidth is what I want. I'm not. 4G is great. 
it's not 5G, it's not the VHF spectrum where everything can live in a cloud and can have instant on experiences on any device. I kind of say eventually the TV is not smart TV, it's a dumb TV. You're going to have a transmitter, probably your mobile phone, that'll get all the signals you want and you'll just tell what screen to show up on. That, I think, is Nirvana and I can't wait for that to get here. Cool. How about you? <laughs> Well, I think Mo actually touched on it, other than the instant grilled cheese machine, of course, but uh, within uh, uh, the presentation, uh, you know, technology is getting smarter. Mobile devices can recognize what's happening around them, uh, both through broadcast, but also just in the room itself, uh, when other people arrive to uh, co-view something with you. So uh, I think there's a lot of uh, excitement to come around connectivity and devices recognizing what's happening uh, from a broadcast and content perspective. So that's exciting. Great. Well, Michael and Moritz, or Mo, as we've learned your nickname is, um, <laughs> thank Great. you for being here, and we'll see you back in the session. Thank you so much.